Jacob James has joined us. He is an ambassador for Panasonic Lumix, and he is going to show us this incredible rig, which is the Panasonic GH5S. GH5S. Yeah. So yeah, what's uh, explain all these gizmos and gadgets yeah, so you've got mounted to this? It, thing? It's a little bit overloaded because we've been, you know, we've been demoing it, but basically the core of it is um, we have like a custom anamorphic setup. So it's basically a projector anamorphic, a Leica lens. And then this thing on the front basically allows you to focus it. Um, that's on a speed booster onto the GH5S. So you're getting around 32 millimeters horizontal and 16 wide with the anamorphic. Um, the good thing with the GH5S is you've got the four by three uh, aspect ratio. So you're recording that and then with the two times anamorphic, de-squeezing it. So you get the cinema scope um, to 2.4 by 1 aspect ratio. Um, we've also got the XLR1, um, which is allowing it to power the road mic with phantom power, XLR, straight into the camera. Nice. And then it's all built around the 8 sin rig. There's a few bits of small rig bits and bobs around there on a Manfrotto tripod with so, an Atomos on top as well. So rarely you would be using all of this all in one to, go. But to be honest, kind of yeah, I probably wouldn't have, if I was shooting more run and gun, I maybe wouldn't have the Atomos on there, but if it was more narrative stuff with bigger tripod and setups, then it's good to have a big monitor. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't always be recording audio, but it's there if I need it. Um, so yeah, it can be stripped down or it can be built up. I think that's the beauty of the, the system, really. But the anamorphic lens is something you shoot with a lot, yeah? Yeah, more and more so. Like, I started with photography and I'm, I've been moving into video for like the last three years. Um, it's more suited for narrative work, you know, where you've got a controlled environment. Yeah. You don't really be wa wanting to run around shooting a documentary with it. But um, yeah, for short films, narrative stuff, it's ideal. So is that the kind of stuff you, sh you shoot with that? What is it you like about anamorphic lenses? I think it gives you kind of a cinematic feel, like the out of focus areas take on like an overlook. So it's kind of, it looks very different from spherical. You get the flares. I'm not super keen on the like JJ Abrams, like sci-fi flares. So this one's a little more subtle, but depending on how you set it up, you can have intense flares or not. Um, and yeah, it just gives it a cinematic feel. It's not for every project, but for certain projects, it works really well. Yeah. So have you been using other lenses with the um, GH5? Yeah, so I have I spend all my money on lenses. This is a problem. I have like an eBay addiction, but... Yeah, it is uh, a thing. Yeah, for running, is running, yeah, running gun things, uh, I'd use the native like Panasonic Leica primes. Um, I bought some Leica R lenses which are great for manual focusing. Um, I have a bunch of random Russian lenses that I buy every time I'm traveling. Just for that character. Yeah, they've got a big character, low contrast look. Um, yeah, then the, a it random storytelling. Yeah, it? depending on the project, you know, if you want it to look lo-fi, use an older lens, you're not having to do as much in post. It's more organic and, and real and uh, it gives a I don't know, photography, you want everything to be perfect, but video, a bit of character, a bit yeah. of fault actually can often add to the story, I think. And, and the, the sensor inside the, the GH5 is, is so crisp and so sharp, Yeah. sometimes you need to rein it back a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Um, and Do you shoot in at 4K? Yeah, so on the S, you, you're shooting in uh, 4K. Um, it's a little bit bigger than Micro Four Thirds, the sensor here, so... Um, you get like 10% extra width. Um, but unlike the, this is on the S, unlike the GH5, you're not getting the downscaling from 6K. So it's not quite as sharp, but it's much better in low light. So um, I quite like to shoot in dark, kind of moody environments. So um, the extra cleanliness at high ISO is, is a good thing, I think. That GH5 kind yeah. of, the GH5S. GH5 six. is good, but the S, two or three stops cleaner and also at lower ISO I find it cleaner so pretty um, well, well thank yeah. you for talking to us yeah uh, cheers appreciate you yeah thanks your for time. Me. thank you